Hi guys, what's up? This video is super super special for me because after eight whole months, I'm actually at the airport. I am actually taking. Okay, I'm getting a little emotional right now. I'm actually boarding a flight after eight months. I'm flying to Goa. I'm standing outside the airport. It's been a very 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 strange feeling to to come here. Uh, there used to be a time before the lockdown when I was at the airport literally once a week. This was like my second home every or every now and then. And uh, coming back here after eight months really really feels odd. So I'm going to talk you through the process and let me tell you how uh, it is. And uh, let me go into the terminal now. Thank you. I'm finally inside the airport. This is a familiar space. Guys, I'm not just saying it for this video, but I'm really feeling very emotional right now entering this airport. So what I had to do at the entrance is show the Arogya Setu app. So once that app was turned on, uh, then they did a quick temperature check. Then the guys check your secure the ticket and the and your ID card on uh, <clears throat> through a big screen and then now I'm entering to check in for the flight. So I went to the little kiosk and I got my boarding card and I got my luggage tag printed and I have to now go and deposit the luggage at uh, this once I've checked in. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm all done with the check-in. Uh, I'm all done with the check-in. Now I'm headed towards security. I bumped into one of my Insta followers who's also a Vistara staff. So she kind of wished me a pleasant flight and it was pretty easy, the check-in. My bag was broken. The handle was broken because I had not used it for so long. So they've just stuck the luggage tag on the bag. And now all I have is my boarding pass. I'm going to go to the lounge and sit down and have some coffee. And uh, I noticed that there are also these floor markers here at security to see. But uh, I don't think many people are expecting these floor markers. So now we're going to go into security. So I have to turn my phone off. So I'm just done with security. It was a very quick process. Um, Really nothing much has changed about the security process, it's the same thing. Uh, I think the check-in was a bit different. So now I'm walking through the airport, it's really strange to see most of the shops are like closed, the outlets are closed, this airport used to be so buzzing with so much activity all the time. Now it's really strange. Uh, let me go and try my luck to save my credit card. It still gives me access to the lounge. Because I have about an hour before I need to board my flight managed to get myself into the lounge using my credit card uh, so I do have access to the lounge let's walk around and see what's changed happy to be here again but uh, I'm gonna go grab, grab some coffee as well uh, let's see the coffee machine is right here okay so then hi may I have some coffee please so sorry so the usual F&B section is closed I think they're giving out breakfast in boxes but of course it's so nice to sit here and Watch the planes, and uh, I think I'm actually going to uh, probably get a place here. So I'm going to spend about an hour waiting for my flight. I checked in early. I'm going to have a coffee in the lounge. That's it. So I have uh, spent an hour in the lounge. Now I'm walking towards uh, the boarding gate. And uh, let's see what this is going to be like. I've got my boarding pass, got everything, got some podcasts lined up for the flight to Goa. I've got myself a nice window seat on the right side of the plane. Yep, let's go. Okay, so this is what the boarding gate looks like. I think everybody is being pretty much socially distant. No one's rushing, and there are a few people in PPEs and everything. So. So, uh, I just bumped into my friends who are going to be travelling with me. Hi to everyone on YouTube. Okay, so we are waiting to board. We are actually waiting for all the crowds to go in. And since we are more or less, I'm sitting on row 5 and you all are on 6B. Okay, so we might as well all board together. But we'll wait for that crowd to go. You want to go? No, no, we'll now only. Let everyone go then. Huh. Are you excited, excited for Goa? excited about Goa. This is the first trip with Rian and fun. <laughs> looking forward for it for the experience. Otherwise, I'm always it. looking through their travel experiences through Instagram and like. Uh, <laughs> chalo. I have to do a temperature check before getting on the flight. Thank you very much. 
Oh, this is good. The mask is good. So we are given a mask before boarding the flight. The mask and the, the face shield, which is really good. Thank you very much. I think the middle the person in the middle seat has yeah, to wear yes, this, yes, na? Yes. So I think me or Dimpy, one of them. Yeah. I am not wearing it after I this for the <laughs> How does it feel to be boarding a plane after eight months? I am. You know, today at home, everyone was like, like you know, in the villages and all, everyone uh, in my house and maids and all were like, bye, have a safe flight and go. <laughs> Dimpy, I cannot keep calm. We are going to get on a plane. I'm so excited to be getting on a plane more than anything. Did you did you guys ever think a day would come where we would have to wear and do all this before boarding a flight? Wear all this thing on our head and mouth and bizarre, no? Bizarre. I feel like I'm living in some sort of movie or something. Yes, yes, yes. All those. Uh, Fantasy movies, movie, sci fi, sci fi. Well, we thought this would never happen just because. Uh, so, before boarding the flight, we have to put on a mask. Your face shield will be on a And the. Uh, the middle valley seat only for the middle. Oh. So, the boarding process is pretty simple because so you maintain social distancing and one by one we kind of go to as well. I'm finally on board the plane. It feels so bizarre to be on a plane after... Once again, I'm going to say this for the 50th time. I cannot curb my enthusiasm because I'm on a plane after 8 months. It feels like an absolute luxury. And uh, I'm sitting. It's pretty okay. So the person sitting next to me in the middle seat has to wear a PPE. And uh, all the middle seats have to wear PPEs. Um, might as well say hi. Oh, you might as well say hi. See, we're all being safe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to uh, sanitize my hands. Now one cannot be cautious enough. Yeah, time to sit back and enjoy the flight. Move the sheet and your personal mask and then place the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. The temperature outside is 31 degrees Celsius. You may now use your mobile phone. We request you to please remain seated until further advice by the cabin crew. Do take care when opening no residence as items. But even when you're getting off the plane, it's like a row wide thing. You can't just get off the plane. So as you can see, everyone in the cabin in the back is very, very orderly. Everyone's just sitting down. So they're announcing for a second. And so now I'm waiting for them to call out my row number so that we can actually get off. But as you can see, I'm impressed to see everyone just sitting down quietly and no one rushing. I think this should be a permanent rule for getting off planes. So this is one of the reasons that I really love flying with Star. So, uh, one of the flight, in, flight attendants on board Vistara was, uh, is an Insta follower and she knows how much I love my coffee. So she made me a sweet cup of coffee just before I left the plane uh, in Goa. So uh, that was a pretty seamless experience. The luggage has come so not much change there in terms of the luggage. But I can see uh, quite a few points where there are hand sanitizer stations across the airport. And of course now headed out. So uh, guys, that was it. That was my flight experience. First flight in almost eight months. I think it was pretty much uh, more or less the same thing with just a few changes. So the check-in experience was a bit different. Security was fine. Boarding was a bit slower. Far more systematic in flight. So I didn't really try any of the food or anything. But 
I know that it was quite uh, well sanitized. Everybody in their PPEs and masks, and the flight attendants were in their PPEs. But most importantly, I have to say that I felt like when that plane was going down the runway and taking off, I really felt very, very emotional. It was a, quite a different experience for me. Um, but in the meanwhile, uh, yeah, and even arrival in Goa, it was a pretty uh, simple experience. There's no change really. I think you just need to take your precautions and make sure you kind of stay safe and stay covered and everything. So let me know what you think uh, of this video in the comments, guys. I'm ho hopefully going to share some great content from Goa. So in the meanwhile, I look forward to hearing from you. I'm going to try and respond to each of you. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until my next video, welcome to Goa.